guys, welcome to this pre-built video in The Sims 4. My name is Irene and today I'm building Orca, a glass beach house in the shape of a killer whale. And I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Because in this build, I will be using the new letters for the game as well. Yay, they're finally here. And yeah, this beach house in the shape of a killer whale, in the shape of an orca. I love doing yeah, organically shaped builds, if that makes any sense. Uh, yeah, with a lot of fluid lines. I love using roofs in my builds and yeah this build is definitely one of these builds the entire shape of the orca i made with roofs i combined a lot of them together of course with decks all between the roofs and yeah at the beginning of this build i had the idea in my mind that i wanted to do just a wheel and at a certain point it changed up in a killer wheel of course we get into that later on first of all what inspired me to do this build here today i started thinking what i could do for the upcoming eco lifestyle pack it's coming tomorrow yay and yeah i started thinking what i could do for that and in some kind of way i thought an animal shaped building was kind of eco lifestyle as well <laughs> So I started gathering inspiration on Pinterest and on Google and yeah, I wanted to keep it very abstract, very minimalistic and I found a lot of cool pictures actually. But the first one I found was this one and when I saw this one I immediately knew I wanted to do a build in the shape of a whale. This is a real life building, it's a whale watching center in Norway. Of course it looks totally different than what I'm building here right now but it really sparked the inspiration to do this orca shapes building. But over here, of course, you can only see the tail and it looked so cool as well, especially that it is yet a minimalistic style. So I searched further and further and I found actually a couple of different pictures of architecture that was inspired by whales. I found this picture very minimalistic as well. It's a theater in a music theater, I think in south korea and it looks so cool you can immediately see it's yet yeah, its shape of a whale but i found a lot of other pictures as well like these ones way more complex inspired by yeah, the shape of whales as well i couldn't really find what they are in real life i think they are very expensive super yachts but yeah, long story short, there were a lot of different things that inspired me to get yeah, to do this build here today. And I never realized that there were so many different buildings or things in the world that were inspired by whales. My initial plan was to do a build just in the shape of a whale, not an orca. And yeah, I started experimenting with different colors and I wanted to make this entire build pop a little bit more. And I realized when I tried out all the different grays I had in mind for a whale, it looked yeah, just a little bit bland so i started uh, using different yeah colors with white and with black and with a lot of gloss and i immediately loved the look of it way better and yeah it immediately looked like an orca to me so yeah, I was so happy when I found it out and I started watching documentaries about orcas actually when I realized I wanted to make this build into an orca. And this isn't going to be an info thing, natural geographic thing, but I found out so many cool things about orcas. I always thought a little bit they were the kind of assholes of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> like wolves, I knew they uh, like the wolves of the ocean. I knew they hunt in packs and they're very, very dangerous. And I thought they were very dangerous for humans as well. But that, that's not the case as, at all. Of course, they hunt in packs, but they are very family or oriented, very oriented uh, to their mother. They're extremely intelligent. They have their own culture, but they have different subcultures uh, amongst the species as well. And 
Yeah, they're so, so amazing. There are a lot of people that they, they have bonds with different archives. They track them and they saved one of them once and they track them now. And every once in a while that Arca comes back just to say hi. And no, I found so many amazing things about these animals. Here is the point that I started yet yeah, trying out different colors and different things. And I realized that the entire thing looked way cooler when I... Yeah, and now when I made it in this black and white color and especially with these decks and with these lines they already yeah looks a little bit like the shapes I wanted yeah in this Arca. I'm using the method over here that I'm removing walls underneath roofs again. I made a tutorial about it while I was doing my leaf house, my futuristic tree house. So if you want to uh, hear, hear an in-depth tutorial about it, check out that video. But yeah, the basic thing is that you want to use doors on the walls underneath the roofs. You want to size them down and after that you can raise them up and in that way you can remove these walls underneath the roofs. Of course you still have these very tiny doors left and you want to cover them up. In previous builds I used this method as well and over there in Halo for example I used a lot of plants, a lot of trees to cover these uh, doors up but in this build I used these huge rocks and in that way I could cover them up as well and I thought yeah it looked very natural in that way. Almost at this point this was the first yeah, building half for me. I started building this at the beginning of the week and I wanted to stop at the point uh, where I wanted to incorporate the letters in this build. Of course I had to wait for that update and I promised you guys to have this video out yesterday on Wednesday but the update for the game got delayed um, very obvious reasons. I totally agree with that delay of course, but that's why this video is one day later as well. And the update came with some troubles. Oh man, I yeah, I started updating my game. I built this entire thing almost around this point and what you can see right here and yeah, I started updating my game and after that my game just crashed. Every single time I wanted to start up my game, it crashed and it was so frustrating. I'm in a chat group with a couple of other simmers and I was the only one who ran into that problem. But I'm on Twitter as well. Follow me there if you want. My name is The Simstream over there as well. And I actually saw a lot of people running into these problems. It had something to do with corrupted save files. I never use mods or CC custom content in my builds. And normally when there are problems with updates for the game, normally there always has yeah, something to do with, uh, with CC or with mods that you're using in your game. But I didn't use anything like that. Yeah, I used these custom content lashes once when I was trying to make a sim self. <laughs> but I already deleted that, that custom content and I, had, I didn't have something like that in my game, but it crashed every single time and it was so annoying. But yeah, it had something to do with these corrupted save files. So I could uh, open just a new game, but I lost all my save files. So I lost the entire work that I did on this build already as well. Luckily, I recorded everything, of course, so I could just take that recording next to me and I could rebuild it yeah, in not that much of time, in a couple of hours. Normally it takes me hours and hours to yeah, realize a build because I'm thinking about every single step that I'm taking while building and especially when I want to make a yeah, very minimalistic abstract organic shape like this. But now I already yes, uh, thought about all these different choices that I wanted to make in this build. So I could rebuild it quite fast and after that I could incorporate all the different letters. 
But man, yeah, it was a little bit annoying. But besides that annoying part, this new update is amazing. It came with the letters, yay, finally. It came with a fireman for the game. It came with free window placement. Oh my God. I didn't use that much windows in this build, but that is something that is definitely going to change up the build game. So I'm so happy that they incorporated that. There's a new in infant inventory system and there are a lot of new other things. The game with a surprise thing <laughs> with a collaboration with MAC Cosmetics. There are new makeups in the game. Of course, I never really spend time in cast and create a sim, but there are new makeups right now. They look a little bit like a two-year-old draw eyeliner on your eye, but <laughs> the idea is amazing. And uh, they came out with a couple of very amazing yeah, colors for lipstick. So that's very, very cool. And with some contouring, with some blush and everything. So that's, yeah, it's, an, it's amazing. It was a huge update. And I'm so happy that they came out with that update. And especially for the new pack tomorrow. Oh, but then I lost all my save files. Yeah, it's so annoying. I really hope they come up with a patch or with a fix very, very soon. And yeah, and I really hope that I can restore all, all my save files. And especially for a lot of yeah, other simmers as well. I saw a couple of them that had long-lasting LPs, um, let's plays on, yeah, on their channels. And they lost all their... Yeah, they're save files right now, so I really hope they fix it up soon. We're already way into the interior in this build, and yeah, I said it before, I wanted to keep this build minimalistic. I went with the black and white color scheme, of course, because it was very fitting for this Orca build. But yeah, I wanted to keep it minimalistic. I didn't want to overdo it that much, so I went with a lot of simple furniture. I love the couch that I used. Uh, uh, at the back of the pool it came with island living and I used a lot of items from spa day like these fountains and these plants again I love using that yeah that's calming face I think it's called I use it in almost every single build of mine yeah, and I wanted to keep it yeah, very simple with that black and white. And I thought the entire thing yeah, popped a little bit more in that way. But we're almost on the end of this video already in the yeah, upper part of this build you can find the kitchen and the bathroom and in the bottom half you can find yeah the bedroom and in the middle of course yeah the living room and with the letters and everything i'm very curious what you thought about this build please let me know are you so excited for the eco lifestyle pack as well let me know that too if you want and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do i would really appreciate it i try to do a lot of different things with my builds i want to keep you guys inspired in that way for your own builds i love to talk about a lot of different building techniques and a lot of different methods so if you like that yeah please subscribe you would make me very very happy of course when the eco lifestyle pack drops tomorrow i will purchase it immediately i will start building with it immediately and you guys can expect a new eco lifestyle build with the pack next monday so i hope to talk to you then have a good day today have a good weekend keep it safe and yeah hope to talk to you next monday goodbye